guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing another foundation review. It's going to be on the MAC Mineralize Moisture Foundation. I've had this for a while and I've used it a few times so it's well due for a review. It's not going to be a first impression because obviously I've used it and you guys prefer that I do reviews that way. If you're new to my channel, I'm just going to let you know a bit about my skin. I do have dry skin and I have taken the shade NC44. I did have the MAC Studio Scrub Foundation but I used that all up and I was in the shade NC45 in that one. But it was a bit dark so I went for NC44 and I feel like it's still a bit dark. So one thing that I'm definitely not too happy about is the shade. I've had better matches for my skin. Like when you look at it overall with all my makeup it's fine but it's when I go outside and stuff you can tell that I've got makeup on and sometimes I don't really like that. I just want it to look like my skin. So yeah the shade is a bit off. It does kind of look orangey on me which is a shame because I bought this foundation and that's my fault because I did buy it online. I think I just need to go into a MAC store and sort my shade out because for the MAC Studio Fix I had NC40 which was way off, then I had NC45, then I have now NC44 and it's just not good and I've tried NC42 and that makes me look grey so I just need to try NC43 I guess. Unless I'm not too sure about MAC but I'm not sure if I'm meant to be using NC or NW like uh, because for me, I would think it would be neutral cool and neutral warm, but apparently it's the other way around. So NC is warmer and then NW is cooler, but I just get so confused. In terms of how it applies, it's quite a liquidy foundation. As I apply it on my hand, it does kind of like leak through. Um, when I swatch it on my hand, you can definitely see that the colour's not perfectly right. I wouldn't build upon it because I just feel like it doesn't build very well. Um, this is a foundation where you just want to put one layer and try and blend it as good as you can. Uh, I did wear it one day and it just was separating around my mouth area because I just don't know, it just doesn't really sit on my skin well. It was definitely sinking into my fine lines, I don't know if I have any yet. I don't really have any smile lines now but I remember I was going to work and someone actually commented that I did look different because I was just wearing that foundation. It just makes me look a bit darker and tanner. Um, but it was definitely sinking into my lines and it just looked very bad around my mouth area. Apart from that, like everywhere else it looks okay. I'm just not too fond of it. I don't know how to explain it. It's not like a foundation that I would definitely reach for. I think it's just mostly the colour that just put me off and also um, how it just sinks into my smile lines and literally separates around my mouth area like especially in these areas here. This has got SPF 15 which is a good side to it. You get 30 mil, I believe. Yes, 30 mil, which is the standard size. The pump and the glass bottle is handy. It's got a nice matte packaging, which I like. So the packaging is good. Um, I'm just not too fond of the formula and the foundation itself. I'm not fond of the shade either. It does, it's on the dewy side. It's more on the dewy side, definitely. If you've got oily skin, do not go for this one because it does kind of shine throughout the day, especially. But to be honest, I would actually get, if if they have my exact same shade, I would actually repurchase this to wear on days where I just want a quick makeup, like just lightly and just brush it on with a brush very lightly so it doesn't separate in these areas. Because when, when it separated, that was a day where I put two layers and I wanted full coverage, but it just doesn't build upon itself very well. But if you're looking for like a nice natural dewy kind of foundation, I feel like that would be this one because if I could get my colour I would wear it just as a light layer. And as I apply this foundation it's quite easy to blend. I like to use it with the sponge um, and also a brush. It works well with either. It does however make like a foundation line because the, the shade is just really off. But apart from that it blends really well. It sits nicely on the skin. It doesn't break me out at all. In terms of longevity, that apart from my mouth area, it stayed on pretty well like it didn't fade it didn't like melt off my face because of the dewiness it just stays on pretty well and I did also like prime my face and everything and it still stays nicely on the skin but it's more of a foundation that I would, I would use like my MAC face and body you got some of you have been asking what is my go-to MAC foundation and my go-to favorite one is MAC face and body because it just makes your skin look naturally flawless like it's your skin but just a bit you know touched up uh, that's like my favourite favourite foundation if you've got like skin. If you've got like acne and scars and you want full coverage, definitely not go don't go for this one or the face and body one. 
Um, it's just more on the lighter side, I feel like, if you want a nice, natural, dewy finish. So I think I've touched up on everything. Those are my thoughts on the foundation. Um, I would rate it maybe like a 6 out of 10. Um, it's not one of my favourites out of my collection, so... Yeah, I probably won't even buy it again. I'll probably buy, like... I probably I probably will mix this one with my lightning drops by the body shop and just try and finish it as much as I can and, and probably just repurchase the matte face and body one because I really love that one. But right now the foundation looks good. Like I put a light layer on and it's 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 nice. It's so I will try and keep using it but I won't repurchase it to be honest. If there are any other foundations or MAC foundations you would like me to try or review let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos if you're new. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!